I'm Gary Baca here with Tuxedo. Man, and we got the tie like with the tuxedo. We got Mayor Hawthorne, we got Jake One right here. And uh, we're gonna talk about tuxedo. They just got off stage with Zap, which was great. Uh, tell me what that experience was like. I mean, they're kind of the reason we're doing this in the first place, so yeah. Uh, yeah a really funny story about uh, the Tuxedo Zap experiences. We did our one of our early shows in Japan, maybe our fifth show as a band. We went on before Zap. We thought we smashed it. Yeah, we thought we were doing we thought we were doing big things. Like they came on the stage and whooped our ass, yeah, blew just us, like they did tonight. Blew us but it was stage. even more drastic that night. Yeah, so, I mean, we we had to go back to the drawing board, yeah. and we were like, "Yo, we we need to revamp the entire show. <laughs> yeah. We need to start over again." And then we came we came correct the next yeah. time. We were like, "Okay, right. this is how you do it." And you know, we, we built that relationship with them. I couldn't believe they knew who we were. Yeah. We did was like, "I like you guys' record. I didn't think you looked like that." I remember that was like the big thing. So I was like, "Well," and they were like, "We need to do a song together." I was like, "Okay." That's not even a question. Yeah. We'll do anything to do a song with y'all. So now I've been uh, following you guys. You know, you guys are deep in the funk, and uh, and I've been noticing. Hey, Tuxedo, they work with Zap. Everybody's kind of checking you out now. And um, so with the collaboration with Zap, that must have been a great thing for you guys because you guys are about the funk, right? Or really, when we talk about Bootsy Collins, James Brown. Yeah, I mean, obviously those are tremendous influences for us. We knew when we started making this tuxedo music that we were never going to do it as good as them in that in that way. So we were like, you know, we have to do our own thing. And we sort of incorporated a lot of our like G-Funk, you know, 90s rap influences into that. And then, we, you know, we, 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 we don't like just rehashing what's been done already, but... We try, to, we try to make a new little blend of it, um, which is I think why people gravitated toward it. It wasn't like, you know, a copy necessarily, but you can hear all of that DNA and whatever we do because right. that's where we come from. But it's something new. And then, you know, yeah, obviously to get the chance to do something with, with our hero legends. Zap, you know, anybody like that. It's, it's now, amazing. you work with also Booker T. Jones, right? Daryl Hall and John yeah, Oates? Yeah, I did, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, tell me about that experience. You were, I love that D, uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates uh, tiny desk thing or that live thing they do. I'll tell you I'll tell you a crazy story about that. So we're filming at Daryl's house. We're fi First of all, um, Daryl Hall had Booker T. on, and we're, we were both on the same episode. And I felt like, oh my God, like Daryl Hall wants me to like come to his house and do the thing. And he was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But Booker T is here. So like, and Daryl is Booker T's like biggest fan ever. So he was like, <laughs> didn't really care about me at all. He was like, oh yeah, Booker T is here. So like, that's all that matters. Anyway, as he should have been. But so midway through filming, we like are taking a little break in between songs and Booker T gets off the organ and just picks up a guitar and starts just playing the intro to um, the Green Onion. I Forgot to Be Your Lover by Ooh. William Bell. And it's like, it sounds exactly like the record. And I was like, yo, that sounds like exactly like the record, man. And he was like, well, it should. I played it on the original record. <laughs> no. Man, that's a good story right there. That's classic. Well, you know, you've also been on TV with uh, Conan O'Brien. You've been on that mm -hmm. show. What was that like for you to be on national television? I mean, <laughs> to, that was just like to to be it. Conan was always my favorite. So to get to do the Conan show, period. Yeah, and get to do it with Zap. And get to do it with Zap. Double. You did David Letterman as well. I did do get to do Letterman, yeah. That was spectacular, yeah. I wanted to be on his show, <laughs> and then you did it. Me too, yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was very fun. Highlight, for sure. Now, Tuxedo has taken you around the world, and, I mean, tell me some of the places that it's taken you in. Give me, uh, tell me about some of the responses that you've gotten from people from all over. Man, that's... We, we really touched up pretty much the whole globe, but I, I would say our two real homes is OC, yeah. LA, 
And Tokyo. And Tokyo. Those are Tokyo, huh? Those are our two places where I'm like, wow, this is a this is a home home game. Like yeah. we know we're good. You, you guys like the Beatles over there? <laughs> we're not Tokyo? gonna go that far. We're not gonna go that far, but <laughs> we we love Japan and they have love for us. Yeah. So that's we always love going and over anytime there. Anytime we get to play LC, it's 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 a similar thing. It's yeah. like they know the words. It's just the culture like when we see the DJ come on, they're not playing the obvious songs and everybody knows the words, you know? It's like, it's just, it's different. Now tell me about the influence of Tuxedo because I know at one point you were like stuck on Public Enemy, uh, all these different groups, right? And so you have so many different influences, even when we talk about mixtapes and Jay-Z and man, you're just like everywhere. So how do you put that into your music or do you? We, yeah, it all it all gets rolled into there. Yeah, Ice Cube and Slum Village and all, all of that all gets rolled into. Who else are you listening to, or did you listen to? Oh my God! Do you have a favorite band, group? Uh, man, I'm like, I was gonna say like, I mean, obviously like Parliament, I would say is like an enormous, you know, maybe the biggest influence for us, but... I, I think for Tuxedo, like, definitely a lot of the Solar stuff, uh, Leon Silver's produced, and, like, Leroy Burgess, another producer from New York, um, I mean, to me, One Way Tonight, like, one they're... Way. One Way. Oh, One Way Tonight. So, we're at the Funk Fest in Irvine, California, it had Cheech and Chong on the bill, they were the host, and it had Slave, it had, uh, Mariah Avila, who else was here? Um, Zap. Uh, one way, yeah. So I mean, these are like superior funk groups, royalty, right? And Rose then Royce, Rose Royce Rose got Royce. busy earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose oh my God! Really, yeah. Copeland? Yeah, yeah. They sounded amazing. Yeah. Joe Baton, yeah, yeah. They were all, they, were, they, were, they all came with it. Everybody brought Whenever it. Whenever they asked us to do something like this, we want to watch the show. Right. Like we're not, we're like, yeah, we're gonna do our thing, but. First and foremost, I want to watch fans, the show. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate you saying Joe Baton because uh, you know we don't know what you listen to or who listens to what. All, and all, I have all the Joe Baton yeah, records. We, we have all the records like on the vinyl. Yeah. Stuff like Latin Lover, right, Rapper, yeah. Clapper, no, we we know it all. We're like waiting for them to do those songs. <laughs> now I'm going to name a few groups. You tell me what you think about them, or you know what, if you've seen them, anything about them. Cameo. <laughs> oh my God! His favorite group. I mean, yeah. I would say Cameo wow. up there. Yeah, like, and, and especially the early like Cameosis album. That's one of the first albums I remember as a kid. So yeah, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Man, you are really coming with the, Un the undefeated. heaters. Undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. Like now, yeah. if you see them perform yeah. now, it's amazing. They're still the best. Yeah. Now, did you listen to Prince, Bootsy Collins? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Prince. Prince was like the first one to really do everything himself. So like. I think the programming thing kind of, you know, that definitely was inspirational for a lot of hip hop guys. Like, oh, we could just program these bars and, and turn this into a funk song or whatever. You know, Prince invented that. Definitely first guy to like be a one man band and play all the instruments. Huge influence for me because that was kind of what I did on my first album and only not nearly as good. <laughs> now, tell me about your production. You do the beats, uh, you guys produce yourselves pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah. We, this guy. A, a lot of times I'll start a groove and then he'll be like, mm, I don't know about that chord. That's a little, little janky. Let's let's straighten this out. And you know he cleans it up and, and makes it presentable for the public. Yeah, but, usually, but I'm an idea guy. It usually starts with an idea from Jake, and then I'm more of like the guy that crafts it into like a song from from like the initial spark. Yeah. So what's next? New album? Uh, what can we look out for? We are, we've been, both of us have been producing a lot of music for other artists right now and writing for other artists. Can you share any of that? Or is it a secret? No, no we, no, no, no. Who, who are you working with? I had, a, I had a song that I produced on the new Doja Cat album, who I really love. I think she's incredibly talented. Um, I just produced a song for uh, another West Coast artist that I absolutely adore called uh, Jordan Ward. His name is Jordan Ward. You guys will all know about him soon. And uh, yeah, like this year I did a record for J. Cole with 21 Savage. It was like probably the biggest record I've ever done. So, you know, I, I feel like this hiatus got me back on hip hop mode because we were home. Mm -hmm. We weren't out doing this. So I just got focused on that. And, you know, I made some new tuxedo music too, but right. we, we just got to get together and do it, you know, like but we don't have any songs right now, so it's not coming anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, one of my big things is, man, I just want to pose with you guys. 
tuxedo right here, Irvine, California, Orange County at the Funk Fest. And uh, hey, man, can you guys bless us with a couple lines or something, man? A little smooth something with a rap or anything Ooh, you bars. Bars. I don't know if we got bars. I, I mean, bars like I, that. I'm such a fan of that video you have, you did in 90, like early 90s with Dre Dog with the girl. I did. Yeah, Dre Dog with the that's girl. That's one of the nuttiest videos I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, that's but crazy. Like this is going to pale in comparison to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys are just so smooth, but check out the record, check out the videos. These guys are on top, and we're going to hear more from them, I'm sure, right? Yes, sir. As time goes on. So it's not just a one time thing. Oh, we're going to wow. see you guys like in 2000. 30, 2022. 2040, it might be a whole different group of people as Tuxedo. This is what I've been thinking about. Who's right. going to be Tuxedo in 2040? Right, right. I'm excited to see how that works out. Yeah. yeah we'll All right. Play so that. Thanks a lot, Tuxedo. Right here, Jake One and um, my Mayor man. Mayor Hawthorne. Mayor Hawthorne. Stay in school, don't do drugs, eat your vegetables, and only floss the teeth you want to keep. Ooh. Uh, hey, and where are you the mayor of? Uh, oh, wait. I'm not the mayor of any town, <laughs> wait, wait. specific town. Mayor. It's M A Y E R. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you did big. Uh, you had a big bar mitzvah, which was kind of a hip hop bar mitzvah, and uh, the I last name is Ooh. from your street, Rod Hawthorne Street. That's correct. So hey, you know, I'm Gary Baca. I'm supposed Come to know on, this. Gary Come Baca. on, man. Did Awesome Dre perform at your bar mitzvah? <laughs> man, we could, Awesome Dre was booked that day. <laughs> Right. But we did get TJ the DJ. Woo! Give it up for Tuxedo right here.